welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning back and I am so glad that you guys are loving my work and appreciating. Uh, for today I have created this glam look. This is a blue and a brown uh, smoky halo eyes look. I am going to go clubbing today. So I thought why not shoot this and put this on my channel for you guys to know how I did this. This is going to be my first get ready with me makeup tutorial. So if you want to know how I did my eyes and my face, please keep watching. Let's get started. I'm going to start with this primer. Uh, this is of course my favorite Nevia Men's aftershave balm. This acts like a great primer. I'll just take a bit of it on the back of my hand and would start from the centers of my face and spread it all over using circular motions. I basically put a lot on this area as I have little open pores here. Foundation. This is my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade 310. Again, I'm going to take it on the back of my hand and start dotting it all over my face and then blend it with a wet beauty sponge. I'm going to extend the foundation to my neck as well. I am going to start dabbing it all over. The foundation is done. Then I'm going to move on to this color corrector palette. Uh, for this look, I want my under eyes to be really, really bright. So I'm going to use the color corrector. For this, I'm going to use this first shade. It is a peachish, orangish shade. Uh, this one is going to neutralize my under eyes, as in the dark circles. So I'm going to begin with this one. darkness also on my lips so I'm going to extend a very 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 thin layer on my lips once I'm done with this I'm going to take my beauty sponge again and I'm going to uh, just dab it and push it back into my skin the dabbing motion or else this will move the product a lot. Moving on, I am going to use another color from the same palette which is this light color. I am going to use this as my concealer. I am going to use my finger for this as the brush takes a lot of product and not like it. So using my finger, I'm going to dab this.
I'm going to use the same color on my eyelids as a base or a primer as you can say. Then this goes here and a little bit here. Take my beauty sponge and dab this all in and puff this into the skin. my dark circles and also some darkness around my mouth and at the corners of my nose uh, now I'm going to move on to baking all these products in my skin for baking I'm going to take my uh, Miss Claire translucent powder on a wet beauty sponge I'm going to just take not a little bit but a lot of this powder and dab it wherever I have put the concealer except my nose of course and the rest of my face I'm going to take this round small brush and and put on the powder going to be a very dark eyeshadow look so for that I'm going to use a tape on the sides of my eyes to uh, have a sharp line for my eyeshadow for this eyeshadow I'm going to use really dark colors but for that I need a transition shade for transition shades I'm going to use my palette which is Miss Rose professional palette and from the from this palette I'm going to use this T shade as a transition color using my blending brush I'm going to take this one these are highly 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 pigmented colors so you need to be very careful for picking up uh, the color with a very light hand and also packing it with a very light hand The colors are really dark you need to blend 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 a lot of these colors I'm going to move on to a very dark uh, blackish brown eyeshadow and I'm going to put on both the corners of my eyes. I'm going to mix uh, two colors for this one. One is this black and another one is this brown. This is a very dark brown and I'm going to take both of these and I'm going to put these colors on the, in the inner corners of my eye and also on the outer corner of my eye.
Once I'm done with these matte colors, I'm going to take this shimmery palette which is from Miss Gold. And these are the colors that they offer. From all these colors, I'm going to use this nice royal blue. I'm going to take a flat brush and pack this color on the brush and put it on the centers of my eye. take my blending brush and I'm going to take this light brown color and uh, put it on my crease and blend everything so I'm done with the eyes uh, I have done the eyebrow my eyelashes and also my liner off camera and now I'm going to move on to my face but before that I'm going to moisturize my lips then I'm going to brush out all the excess powder that I had put in here once I'm done with this I will move on to contouring and highlighting I am going to use this contour brush and my Wet n Wild contouring palette taking this dark shade starting right here on the upper end of my ear I'm gonna just lightly Now I'm going to take this highlight shade and put it under my eyes and your cupid's bow, nose and the top. Last, I'm going to mix these two colors. I need a peachish glow on my face so I'm gonna take this, this rusty orange and this pink color from blue heavens and now moving on to my favorite part of the makeup that is my highlighter and I cannot do without a highlighter I'm going to use this highlighter this is for cinema from cinema and TV is the best highlighter guys that you can use that's my highlight brush and my highlighter a lot of fit on the brush can you see that this is the blinding effect that I'm always looking for whenever I highlight and gives me such a beautiful dewy effect on my skin Put on this uh, 
uh, lip color from Color Fever. With the lipstick, I'll just go ahead, change my clothes, get my hair done, and get back to you guys. So, this is the finished look, guys. I